In this video, I'm going to talk about the file to text option here. So when you click this for the first time inside the script editor, you'll notice it says you must enter your API key for one of the text to speech services in the uh, settings window. So if we click here, it'll automatically bring up the settings and bring you to the speech to text API. So let me just close this and show you um, in the settings. So you bring the settings up that way as well. So what we have to do is get the API keys for these services. So uh, speech to text is basically where you can, in, in the script editor, you can open up an audio file or a video file and it will take the, the actual audio inside that file and convert it into text. And these services provide the, the whisper, um, it's called whisper, it's actually created by OpenAI who did, who also created ChatGPT. So anyhow, these services have that installed in their API and they offer some amazing free plans. Like it's incredible. So Glad AI, I think that's how you pronounce it. It might be Gladia. I call it Glad AI, it just sounds cool. <laughs> Anyways, Glad AI has an option if you sign up, they give you 10 hours of audio translations per month, which is a lot. You know, a 10 minute video or a 10 minute audio, you do 60 of them per month. Now, when that runs out, you can go ahead and click this little radio button here, and you can select DeepGram API. Now, when you first sign up for them, they give you a $200 credit, which when using their Whisper uh, API to translate audio to text, that's around 750 hours, which is incredible. And what I found out is if you actually just create another DeepGram account, they'll give you another $200 credit. I actually have two accounts, so I technically have over 1,400 hours. So whenever your 10 hours runs out in the month, switch over to DeepGram, then the, the next month to switch back over. So it's really that simple to get pretty much endless free speech to text. I mean, eventually it will run out and you'll have to pay the small fee they offer. I don't think it's really that expensive. I think DeepGram is one of the best in the market for pricing and Gladiator is kind of new. So they're, they're offering some pretty competitive pricing as well. But anyhow, for the amount of work that you do in here, you might only need the free versions. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we just have to click this link here, get Glad AI API key. It'll take us directly over to their website. Now, so what you wanna do is you wanna go through and sign up. Now I already have, I think two accounts, so I'm not gonna sign up for a third one. Um, but basically you fill in your information and they give you a little survey thing here. What, what do you intended to use it for or whatever? I don't just make something up. It, it doesn't really matter at all. And then you have to think, check your email to confirm your account and, and you're in. It's, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Um, I just don't want to do it again here. I already have an account, so I'm going to sign in. And as soon as you get inside your account, they show you your API key right in the home section. It's sitting right here. So all you have to do is click this little button to, to copy it and then go back to the software and then click the paste button here and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and do that again for a DeepGram. So click the link, head on over to DeepGram. And again, you're gonna have to click sign up and sign up for a free account. I already have two accounts, so I'm not gonna do it again. And you also have to, you'll get an email with a confirmation link to confirm your account. So make sure you check your email if you're using Google, just click here. So I already have an account, so I'm gonna log in. And after you log in, you see you got $200. I've used it a little bit, so I used a whopping six cents, wow. <laughs> Anyhow, to get your API key, you can click on API keys here. You can see you already have one here. Um, to create one, you just click create and just give it a name, um, script atlas, and then click on owner and just leave all that and then create key. Now they're gonna give you this API key here. Now I, I recommend um, saving it, so copy it and then save it to a text file and maybe put it on your desktop or something like that or somewhere where you remember it in your documents. Because once you close this window, they'll never show you your key again. You can't get it anymore. This is the one and only time you can grab your key, so it's a good idea to save it somewhere. So I've already clicked here to copy it, got it. And you can see the add it down here. And now we go ahead and add it to here. So now that we have our two keys put in there, we can click apply. And now we should have access to that tool. So let's bring up the script, out, uh, the script editor. 
And then what we want to do is test it out. So I'm going to click File to Text. I have a couple of files here. I have a file of just my voice, it's .wav, and I also have a video I downloaded from YouTube. But let's go ahead and just do the voice one. And it's we had Glad AI selected, so let's go ahead. Sometimes it could take a few seconds for it to get going and do the translation. There it is. So let's clear that out and let's try the video. All right, so that took actually several minutes uh, to happen, probably about two, maybe three minutes. So you got to be real patient because a lot of things going on. But what's nice about doing a file to text this way is um, it automatically adds punctuation for you, which is really handy. Another way to do it is you actually can enter in the, act, the YouTube link directly into here and then get the content and then use the auto punctuate if you want to do it that direction as well. So that was using the Glad AI API. So let's go ahead and try it with Deepgram. So I'm just going to clear this out and let's just bring up the settings again. And this time I'm going to select Deepgram. Click apply. And now let's do the same test again with the audio file there. All right, that seemed to be a little bit quicker. So again, we can test again with the other video or other video file, but it's not really necessary, but that's how you can convert file to text. And since I already mentioned it, I do want to show you this as well in this video. So let's go ahead. You can also do YouTube to text. So all you got to do is stick a YouTube link in there, click done. And just like that, you'll be converted to text. But as I mentioned, um, you see in this example here, uh, the actual content is not punctuated. So to punctuate it, you can use auto punctuate like that. And it will take a few, a few seconds here to do it. And then it will auto punctuate for you. Now, if you, you can also, if you download that YouTube video to your computer, then you could use file to text. And I downloaded that YouTube video using one of my other software programs called Tube Atlas. So this particular video here, if I copy that link, this is Tube Atlas. If you already own Tube Atlas, you can utilize the, that functionality in the tool section. You can come down to download YouTube video, plug it in here. And then I just click that video, that link, and I just went and I downloaded the 360 um, one hit download and just download it to your computer that's a handy little tool if you don't have it um, go check out tubeatlas.com so that's the website where you can get tubeatlas and that's basically how to use the file to text feature and how to add the api keys for those services and again you're going to have more than enough um, hours to convert your your uh, audio and video files to text using those two services is pretty much endless. You know, just open up another DeepGram account, get another $200 free. I got two accounts and I got $400 credit. I'm not sure if they have some way of knowing you're using two accounts, but it doesn't appear so because I have done it several times already. So anyhow, that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.